Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game two of the Corona Classic. I'm your host, Joe Rona here, and let's get to the excellent footage. Once again, Nick versus Brady, game two, who will take it home? Big matchup here, and let's get into shot one. Nick's going first here. It's a great, great course here today. Another three holes. Should be good. Here comes Nick's first shot. Pretty good of a whack. Um, close to the right field pole, which is what we're going for. That's a pretty good shot overall. Brady's turn here. Let's see what he can do here on his first shot. He's got to get somewhat close to the right pole. He's taking a lot of practice swings. Here comes his shot. Oh, wow, a little bit left. He saw that one go right into left field near the left's pole, which is not what we want. Here comes Nick's second shot of the first hole. Ooh, a little bit short. Didn't bounce like he wanted it to, but hopefully we'll put that in on the third one. Brady is really far out here. <laughs> But let's see if he can make something out of this. His second shot here. Ooh, a pretty good shot. Kind of on target, a little bit to the right, but it bounced left. And it's close to the hole. Looking to put that in for a par. Nick's third shot here. This should be an easy one. Brady's ball, you can see, is very close. Here comes Nick's. Ooh, that's very close. But we're going to count it. Close enough. Here comes the replay here. You see, it's close enough to just call it. Because, you know, here at the Corona Classic, presented by the Yard Golf Association, anything goes. If it's close enough, we're going to call it. Great shot by Nick overall. Par for him. Brady seems to have an easy, easy shot here. He can put this in. Oh, there he goes. He puts it in. Too easy for him. Does a little bit of a flex there. Look at the replay on that one. And there's the club flip and the flex. Well done by him. Par for him. Into the second hole here. Brady's going first now with his first shot coming up. We're going to the red thing in the back. Kind of the lawnmower thing. I don't know. You have to miss the pool and make sure you don't absolutely shank it into the house on the right. Here comes his first shot. Oh, absolutely grounded that one right near the pool. Almost hits the pool, but it hits the wood right in front. Lucky for him. Here comes Nick's first shot at the second hole. Looking to do a little bit better than Brady. Oh, pretty high shot over to the right a little bit. Seems to have some distance, but not enough. Brady's in a tough position here. I don't know if he's going to go righty on this one, which would kind of be the smart decision. Um, okay, he's going lefty. So um, I've heard personally that he's been practicing this. So we'll see what happens here. Going for the lefty shot. Oh, puts it out right near Nick's ball. Not a bad shot overall. Seems to be happy about that. Nick shot here right next to Brady's ball. Trying to put this one in. A little good shot. And very close. Very close on that one. Here comes Brady's third shot. Trying to put this one in. See if you can. The shot looks good. Oh, it's very close. I don't know. You might have to check up on that one. That one was pretty close. And here at the Corona Classic, we do seem to call a lot of close calls. So we'll see what this one does. All right, they're going towards it now. See what happens. Getting some VAR out here. There's the dog. Um, and final review, that is very far off, and I don't think we can count that one. Almost a full club length, so no. Here comes Nick's third shot here. Trying to get a lead going into the third shot. Hold, oh, whatever. Messed up there a little bit, but Nick puts it in. Look at the replay on this one. Overall great shot right into the middle. Brady with his fourth shot here. Definitely got to put this one in. See if he can. It's very close. And here comes the shot. Puts it in. Bounces up. Almost hits him again there. 
Got a little bit scared with the jump. But he puts it in. What a clutch shot. A little bit of an arm raise there. And he's in this. Rock, paper, scissors for who goes first in the third hole. Like always. Nick wins. He's going first. All right. This hole's a little bit tougher than the rest. You have to hit that big tree. Big yellow tree in the back. While avoiding the house. Let's see if Nick can get a good shot on this. Oh, a good first shot for him. Seems to have good distance, good trajectory. Here comes Brady's first shot of the third hole. Oh boy, that one went a little bit left. Oh, just barely missing the house. Way a little bit over and to the right. He got lucky on that one. Here comes Nick's second shot. Yes, he was very close indeed on that first shot. What a good first shot. See if he can put this one close. Oh, he grounds it to the right. Not a good shot at all. So, Brady's shot here, this is the best footage we can get. He hit it all the way back here into the field. And this is basically the view for you to like see how far away and how far the shot was at first. So that's all the footage we could get. But on this hole, he had a great shot to get it right next to the tree. And you can see it in the background back there, while we zoom in, where his ball went. We did miss the footage. It got corrupted somehow. Nick's third shot here on the third hole. Putting this in would seal the win. Oh, he puts it to the left. Too much. Can't put it in. You've got to be angry about that one. Brady's third shot here. He's got to put this one in. Like He's got to. Looking for a shot of a lifetime here comes the shot puts it high puts it close that was very close and I think we can count that what a shot that went very just to the right of the tree and basically almost hit it in the air I think we might have to count that dog come running through here full-out sprint to see this one let's check out the replay on this one so you can see the ball went very high, a great chip, but not at the right time. But it goes right to the right of the tree and goes right through. I think we might have to count that. So Nick has to make this if he wants to tie it up and go into a playoff hole. Not an easy shot here. See if he can do it. Oh, a little push. And he puts it in. Makes it look easy. Here we go, folks. Doesn't get more exciting than this. We're going into a playoff hole. Here's the replay on it. But whoever gets closer to the tree here will win. If Brady wins, he wins it all. If Nick wins, we're going to the finale. So let's see what happens. Closest to the tree wins. One shot. There's Nick's shot. Good. High. A little bit to the right. Bounce is good. But a little bit farther away. A little bit of an open door for Brady here. Dog is still on the left there. Seems to be kind of a hazard today. See if he can put this one in. All his practice swings that he's been using better get good use here. Oh, he grounds it to the left. An absolute awful shot. Throws his club on the ground. I understand here. That was such a bad shot. I honestly feel bad for him, but at the same time, I don't because he sucks. It's, mm, nah. Bad shot. I don't even know why we have a replay on this. It's so bad. Throws his club. How do you miss that? You were this close to winning, and you missed it. He's very angry. But we all know what that means. Nick is your game two Corona Classic champion. Seems to be very happy about that one. Throws his club in the air. Starts running around. Unlike his last time when he was on the ground crying. Ooh. Can't put it in. Can't put it in. Oh no. But here we go. Grabs his ball. Um, Almost grabs the ball. Missed it a little bit. Chucks it in the air. Hopefully it doesn't hit the cameraman. He's running, he's still running, and he's won a win by him. I think he fully deserved that one. It was a little bit close at the end, but I think he deserved it. Shake hands here, a little bit of bad footage there, but it's whatever. And there you go. Nick is your Game 2 Corona Classic champion. Let's get to the interviews. Game 2 of the Corona Classic. Great game, great match today. Yeah. Is that all? That's all I gotta say. I'm just ready for Game 3 now. Finally 
I got in my groove today. Had some rough shots. Could have made it a lot harder for Brady to come back, but you know, at the end of the day, a win's a win. All right, well, we all know what happens now. Finale for the trophy. Absolutely. And we'll see you then. Here we are with today's second place finisher, Brady. Uh, I see your hair is a little bit longer than last time. Did that, uh, that affect you today out on the course? You know, I think it really did. It got in my eyes. Wind didn't help. It was just all over the place. Like quarantine, like who's going to cut my hair? Like it just, you know, Corona Classic, you know, it just, just gets to you. It really does. So uh, you had a chance to, to end this thing at two games in the sudden death shot. Uh, you saw Nick go first and you had the second shot. What was going through your head knowing that you could end it all right here and win the whole thing? Not going to lie, I thought it was absolutely going to sink that and um, take the win after two games, which should have been really easy. Um, but I wasn't feeling it today. I had a couple shanks that I shouldn't have. But you know what? I think game three, I'm going for the trophy. I'm going to win it all. You, you heard it here first. All no right. more questions. Well. Wow.